So, ladies and gentlemen, now welcome to our video of Mars in the 11th house for Taurus Ascendant people. As in what happens when Mars is in the 11th house in the sign of Pisces for Taurus Ascendant, meaning Taurus Rising sign. And I know if I look a little bit weird, more cinematic is because I am trying to figure out this new anamorphic lens to give that more cinematic feel. You know, it's just that you get bored shooting one way the whole time. You need something more exciting. So you want to shoot. So I'm just trying this out. Hopefully it works. Um, so Mars in the 11,000 Pisces. And also remember my Charadasha course is currently happening, which you can join even five years from now. And I just put up a chart of a student, second student, and I explained a lot of things. And that's actually been my longest video on uh, explaining career. And I'm actually going to show an email I received from a person who just got married last week. They gave me an invitation because I sent them a remedy for marriage. So I'll share that as well there. Uh, because I like to display people's email and, on, and stuff here on YouTube. So anyway, see Mars, what is it? It's a significator of siblings. Mars is a significator of strength, courage, okay? It's a significator of action. It also represents the body of an individual. You always want to pay attention to, the, to Mars when you're looking at body. Why? Because it's the original first lord of the body. It has strong connection with that. See, again, if you want to really learn the simple secrets of astrology, every time you look at a chart, always look at their understanding from the sign of Aries, the very first zodiac sign. So you understand that. And especially the 11th house represents elder siblings, large organizations, okay, um, recognition, gain. I mean, it, it represents wild animals. It represents, you know, fathers, younger siblings. It represents even children. So first thing I have, I have noticed it, and I would like to know from you guys, but Mars in the 11th house usually shows a person will be the youngest sibling. But if you're the young, youngest sibling, you will see this. You will treat your elder sibling like your younger sibling. You won't look at them as younger sibling. That's number one. The other thing we also see with this particular Mars is that marriage happens with delay, unless, of course, there's a benefic impact upon the seventh house of or Mars. Okay. The other thing we also see, because Mars rules the seventh house of spouse, as well as twelfth house of foreign lands, foreign places, you will see through marriage, first of all, spouse's arrival in your life starts helping you fulfill your desires. Especially, you are suddenly going to desire to put your own effort into doing things, own effort into making money. Why is that? Because of the fact you got to understand the Padha of the 7th Lord with Mars in the 11th ends in the 3rd house. Self-effort, including even one has to show courage when getting married. Why? Because most likely you will choose somebody that other people will either be against or will not be so fond of. Okay. Usually also because of the fact the seventh Lord Padha ends in the third house, I have seen, this is why I said it can delay the marriage because the younger sibling may have to get married first for your activation to happen. And like I said, you must be the younger sibling or the middle child. These are the two things I've seen now. Of course, if you see Jupiter in the 11th house, Saturn in the 11th house with Mars, then a strong possibility of you being the eldest sibling happens. The other thing I also see, if you have an elder sibling, which could be the case, unless, of course, you know, the D3 chart and the birth chart shows impact on the 11th house, which shows that you are the eldest sibling or the only child. Um, but the elder sibling will attain their gains through foreign sources, foreign lands. You will also see your firstborn child will love track and field, will love running, will love playing soccer, anything that requires fast speed of the legs. 
and using the legs. They will love that. But also show spouses in their own world. What do I mean by this? Spouse will have many kind of see Mars is also desire because it's our biggest desire is to desire to live. So this is why Mars naturally represents the desire because, hey, I'm born. My soul is now able to pay the karma off. But with Mars in the 11th, in Pisces, spouse will have many things they want to accomplish, many things they do, but that, that, that pathway is not clear to them. The pathway becomes unclear. Because of fact, Pisces is deep waters. Pisces is Akash. Remember, Pisces represents the sky, the black sky. Imagine if you're an astronaut and you were left in space and you automatically are being fed. Oxygen will be there for many, many years. You'll just feel lost. You're like, what do I do? I'm just floating, right? Because in sky, you don't have control over your body. Unless you have a string, unless you have a way to navigate through, you know, those uh, gas pumps. So you will see that the spouse will feel, you will feel like, what do you want out of life? They'll feel that type of confusion. And also spouse will love spending your money. Yet spouse will also contribute. Their, their arrival in your life will also actually help gain money, but also conflicts with your family. Conflicts with the family will be there. Spouse will also bring about situation where you have to deal with competition, where you have to deal with rivalry, work rivalry. In your case, not in spouse's case, in your case. So if let's say you have a regular job, you're fine, you're working on your desk, everything is fine. You get married and suddenly you're not put into a position where you not have this competitiveness with other people. Who can finish this project first? Who can bring in the most sales? Who can bring in the most leads? Who can like, for example, help for business development? But the thing is, this is something that will actually help you fulfill your desires. And usually, even if let's say you get married early after 28th year, spouse really becomes fond of either Krishna or Christ. Depending upon whatever your religious beliefs are, you'll find some attraction towards that. And of course, is if Mars is the Atma Karka, planet with the highest degree, then of course, it also will represent you as well as an individual. And Mars is specifically will definitely show that one will attain a technical education. Usually that technical education can take a person into like chemical engineering. Um, kind of like somebody who may work on ships. You know, like uh, oil rigs and ships. Or usually one deals with like even supply chain type education. But is that going to be your career or work? That may not be so. Education could be that, but it, there will be involvement of some form of technical education. You know, usually it can even bring about education besides this basic IT like accounting, somebody who can go even into uh, mathematics, especially if there's involvement of Ketu. Okay. So anyway, guys, this was my analysis of Mars in the 11th house for Taurus Ascendant people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below so you don't miss these type of videos. If you want to know where your Mars is placed, all your logical details, check out the links here, including my link to my academy, Magavitya Astrology Academy. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.